Today I'm gonna change this old socket with that new one. With this upgrade I will add one more socket and hide two USB-A adapters inside the wall, giving a cleaner and minimalistic look. For that work you need some basic tools, your hands and head. You need to buy the frame, sockets, a small piece of wire, and an installation box. There are many different design standards, but the most popular is 55 to 55 mm square shape. Mine is called Epsilon. The socket with USB adapters is from a different producer and there is a small difference in fitment and color. This is more yellow. Here you can clearly see how time can change the colors, even if it is from one producer. So black or grey color actually looks better, but I am on a budget and this set cost me 30 euros, while other colors are from pricier producers and cost around 5 times more. So I can live with the white socket. Ok, let's begin. First you need to turn off the electricity. Mark cables from light, so you can install them in the same order. Cables can fall behind the wall, so secure them. Sometimes there may be more cables for transferring power to other sockets. I secured the power cable since I use temporary power. If your screw has similar problem, then reverse drill a bit and try again. Usually they work fine. I used a free X 2.5 square millimeter cable. Some sockets have clips instead of screws.
Connect negative wires together. Take your time and fit them nicely together. Retighten cables. You can check the power with a special screwdriver or with some corded power tool. I made a mistake with the light switch. I need to reverse it so it works as a standard. Do not tighten with the drill. Over tightening can crack the plastic. Overall, I am pleased with the result. The interior USB port has 2.8 amperes, so that is enough for many gadgets. For my future home, probably I will buy black sockets with USB-C ports, but today I have more USB-A wires. Thanks for your attention and now you can write something beautiful in the comments.